Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lynette Michael and I'm going to take you along through every journey that I have, whether it's makeup or breakups. I'm here. So why don't you grab your popcorn or grab your cat, grab your pillow, grab your boyfriend because I'm here to help you do your makeup like a pro. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Okay guys, so now I'm using my Too Faced Hangover Primer. I really like this primer because it's very really moisturizing and hydrating at the same time. I'm gonna apply this all over my face and I'm gently going to moisturize it in. I feel prepping and priming your skin before applying any makeup is key and it helps to prevent any breakouts. The sun is oil as normal. I use this every day of my life, even if I'm not using makeup. Okay, and I just applied my Fasalis oil and I'm gently massaging that also into my face. I just use a little bit. And then now I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl foundation in Honey. I like my foundation to be either the same shade as my skin color or I like it one lighter. I don't prefer my foundation to be any darker than what my skin color is. Some people prefer it to be one shade darker because they highlight and contour with lighter products. I'm just going to take my Zoeva foundation brush and just apply this everywhere. And then I'm going to take my trusty friend, my beauty blender, which is already damp. And I'm going to start to blend everything in. This is key when applying your foundation. I feel personally for me the beauty blender works the best and I just love the end results of everything and I've been through so many already so this is my new beauty blender that I just opened okay and I just dab 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 now I'm gonna go in with my mouth's concealer number seven some people call it um, my me's I call it Mouse and this is a budget concealer but it works really well it, it's similar to the NARS creamy concealer and I'm gonna apply it underneath my eye my chin my upper lip my bridge of my nose and my forehead this has a velvety soft matte finish and yes it's a number seven but it's like about two shades lighter than my skin color then I'm gonna go in with my concealer brush and this is my Zoeva concealer brush and I'm gently going to start blending all of that product in before I go in with a beauty blender. I just feel like um, I can get in the, in the areas that the beauty blender can't get in like underneath my eye, close to my waterline and I'm blending all of this out and then now as you can see I go with my beauty blender and I start blending everything perfectly together. I feel the beauty blend also helps the concealer to stay in place. And blend away. Okay, so now I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Dark Cocoa. I love this color. I know beautiful bronze have more of an orange undertone. I like mine to have more of a grey undertone. And I applied it to my cheekbones, my neck especially. Um, and I will apply it to my nose and my forehead. I did apply it. So that's how I highlight and contour my face firstly. And then now I'm taking this uh, contour brush. And I am blending everything in and I always keep a wet wipe on hand when doing cream contour so I can wipe the excess out because sometimes we tend to put more than what we expect on our face and the way to contour your face is if you're sucking like a fish you're going to find your perfect contour lines as you can see I did that and then you just follow the natural shape of your face and your contour. 
I prefer adding a lot of contour underneath my chin because I feel like I have a double chin and this gives me an illusion of a slim jawline and then for my nose I really don't contour that much on my nose because I feel like my nose is not too big but I just do it to emphasize the nose to make it look more appear more than okay and then I'm going in with my beauty blender again and I'm just gonna slightly blend all that contour that we just did with the beauty blender and now I'm gonna go in with my LA girl powder in banana I tried using all budget um, items so you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money to look good so I'm just uh, setting some banana powder underneath my eye and then I'll put it on my forehead and especially around my mouth because I have uh, deep smile lines and as you can see I am um, blowing out I am uh, making my face like a puffball because I want the powder to sit nicely and not to crease so I'm just uh, defining my jaw lines there and then I take a big fluffy like a kabuki fluffy brush I mean, it doesn't even know if that makes sense and I am starting to blend all that powder out which I did leave for at least about a minute or so and then I take my MAC fix plus and I spray about three squirts on my face and I take my trusty friend my booty blender and I start blending it out and now I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in deep and I am taking a big uh, definer brush by Zoeva and I'm just uh, defining my cheekbones um, I like to use it lighter brown first and then now I'm gonna go in with a darker brown like the more deeper color and I like to carve out my cheekbones um, I like to cover out especially my cheekbones and my jawline not so much the forehead and I'm using one of my favorite brushes the switch beauty brush it is one of the best brushes to use when doing powder or cream contour and I always grab this whenever I need to contour. Okay, and as you can see, I just feel like my neck needs more contouring than anything else. Some people concentrate on the nose, some people concentrate on the chin, some people concentrate on the forehead. I like to concentrate more on the neck. I just feel like it works for me. And then now I'm gonna go in with my Avon blush and I it's called rustic and I'm using a Zoeva brush as well I'm just gonna blend that in I'm gonna apply the blush at first you will see I look really pink but it will all tie up together at the end I am putting that on and no 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 we're going to blend that out as well with that big kabuki fluffy brush and everything just starts to fall into place at first you'll feel like whoa what is she doing is she crazy but at the end you will see how everything just falls into place okay so now I'm going with my sun glow um, highlighter I'm using a fan brush at first I'm just lightly Add in some highlighter to my face just to give it that more subtle glow uh, I'm not too keen on full-on highlighters maybe it'll grow on me in the future but for now I'm just applying it to the high points of my face and I going back in with the lightest shade of um, powder from my contour kit and I'm just gently blending that all in then I'm taking a big fluffy powder brush and I blend that in. I put some Fix Plus and I quickly did my eye makeup off camera and my lips. I'm coming back to my highlighter and I just highlighted my nose. 
and then I also highlighted my cupid's bow um, I do apologize for the lip color I felt like it didn't really show on camera but it was a very beautiful bronzy color that I did use so I do apologize for that in advance so I did add some highlighter and again I went with this time I went with a bigger highlighter brush and I gave my cheeks more of a highlight I felt like it needed just a little bit more after applying um, everything now I just went in with some MAC Fix Plus I don't always use MAC Fix Plus I use the NYX but I decided to use a good spray because I wanted this to last the whole day and there you go I'm done so that was my highlighting and contouring i hope you enjoyed this uh tutorial guys don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up this is my first video thank you for watching bye